finish the round with an exclamation point. That right hand by Corrado as we will now go into the corners. And let's listen in to what the respective corners have to say. And you let her hit you. You're standing right here on this cage. I want you in the middle, okay? You're not committing to your shots. You're not committing to your kicks. You're not committing. Get out there and bully her around, okay? Stop letting her bully you. Jewel, you've won this fight, okay? This fight is yours. You can win this fight. Forget about that first round. Let's come out strong in the second, all right? Move. I need you moving, okay? Drink. There goes the shoot. If you notice here, again, you see Corrano on top. This is not her strength, but we talked about how she's trying to go to the ground, see what she could do, trying to work for a rear naked choke. Let's go, Rick Warner. Take your eyes. Big right hand. She landed that all round long, and Kedzie knows that. Again, the next round, in order to counteract that, Kedzie keeps, she needs to move to her right away from that strength of that hand. All right, are you ready? You're Look for Corrano to come in with a low kick, to come in with an overhand right with a followed by a left hook. Just to give you an idea of how much uh, these two like to keep it standing, they're on the mat for only 13 seconds the first time, 35 seconds the second time for less than a minute total. And you know Gina Carano, she's very happy with that statistic. Yeah, that's where she wants to be. She is very, very comfortable on her feet. I'm not so sure Kedzie really believes in herself right now also, just judging by what we heard uh, in between the rounds. Well, Kedzie trying to pull out all the stops, spinning back kick back to the clinch. Not a traditional tie clinch, and they take down by Kedzie, but you can see the balance in favor of Corrado with the, the headlock here. Kedzie going to a close guard immediately. That's a nice body scissor just to keep her in close. Again, with the person, for people out there who aren't familiar with their sport, the person on the bottom, you want, either want to go for a submission or just keep somebody in close so you don't have the range to land elbows, land punches to your face. One thing Corrado is known for is her great cardio. She can push a fight all three rounds, but Bill, right here, we can see that there is maybe a lack of a ground game, but she really doesn't seem to be doing much. And of course, you can see, or hear the referee, Steve Mazzagatti, here in Elite XC, there is the 15-second clock where after he administers a warning, there is that Clock, although now we see the action and a great attempt at a guard pass there. But maybe talk a little bit about that 15 second clock. Yeah, the 15 second clock when the uh, referee deems that there is absolutely no action, he will give them a warning. After the warning, if there's no action, he will call to the timekeeper to turn the 15 second clock on. If there's no advancement after 15 seconds, he will stand them up. Jay, what does Kepsi have to do here to counter the kicking of Corrado, although she's coming forward now? Again, she has to believe in her game, exactly what her corner said. But I, again, I don't think she does. She's been rocked a couple of times. She's gone in for takedowns, and it hasn't worked for her. She walks into a kick again, going for a sloppy shoot. Nice brawl there by Corano. Corano trying to get, and that is full mount. Now she has her back, and we'll see if she attempts to go for the rear naked choke on the back door. Escape by Kenzie, who gets hit on the way up with a nice one-two combination. Corano is one tough woman. Actually, both of these Kenzie women are unreal. Here comes the knockdown by Corano. Overhand right, right on the 
back of the head. What a beautiful setup though with the jab. You guys just followed it up beautifully with that overhand right at 233 of that round. But again, Jay Ketsey did not capitulate. Corretta wasn't even tired there in the corner. Her conditioning is absolutely phenomenal. But you were asking before what Kedzie needs to do. She needs to continue to try for that takedown, but get on top and use her ground and pound, maybe for submission, and just try and get some points there. And again, a reminder for those of you looking at the clock now and wondering why it started at three minutes, that is where this fight is being contested under with the women making history. And what a historic matchup and entertaining fight this is. Kedzie gets the takedown, but... Exactly what we talked about. See it one place we training. Seen yet. Yeah, we'll see it for training with Paulson paid off right here. She She's has got her where she wants it. Under such notable individuals as the aforementioned Eric Paulson, a former pseudo champion, Marco King of the Street, who was, and Debbie Purcell, who has done very well for herself in female mixed martial arts. In fact, she's cross-trained in various forms of martial arts. And now, in this third round, she's going for an arm triangle choke here on Toronto. I think she was originally going for a real naked and kind of slipped out of it. Now she's just trying to make do. And really, let's face it, oh, nice, nice overhand right. Hand. It's obvious that both of them probably need a little bit of work, Jay, on the ground, but you have to give them A for effort. They Absolutely. are definitely not giving any of the other fighters a quarter or giving them an inch. But right now, I guarantee you, Kenzie's thinking in her mind, I got what I needed. I took the takedown, shot in there, had the control I wanted. I still couldn't do anything with it. Kenzie goes for the shot in just a simple, simple physical attributes of Corrado. This girl at 5'8", 141 pounds, she is deceptively strong, you guys. Yeah, she's very, she, she has worked on the takedown defense, no question about it. You can see Corrado remaining focused, trying to set up the combination with the jab. We are into the final minute now, the final 60 seconds of what has been a thrilling, historic female encounter here at Elite XC Destiny. Here's great about the world of MMA, guys. You look at both these young ladies and you think to yourself, you see them on the street, hey, what? Nice looking young ladies, not knowing that they can kick your butt. Well, they can kick your butt. Well, maybe they can kick your butt. <laughs> you know, guys, back in my day, I've had the pleasure of calling many female mixed martial arts fights, Muay Thai battles, but this one is definitely right up there. What a debut for the women of mixed martial arts here tonight on Showtime. Carano wanting to finish it with a flurry, but Kenzie says, no way, I'm going to go right down to the wire with you, sister. Let's just enjoy this last 20 seconds of this fight. <laughs> Great heart by Julie Kedzie all fight long. But you know what? Kedzie needs to finish in a flurry nice because right now it's Carano's fight to lose. Kedzie goes for the takedown. She stood right up by Carano. A knee by Carano. And this fight will go to the judges as both fighters receive a great round of applause. They embrace each other. Tremendous moment, a tremendous fight for mixed martial arts, and they're receiving a standing ovation from the huge crowd in attendance at the DeSoto Civic Center. What a moment! I think they have just broken some serious ground for women MMA. Success in boxing. He had the foresight to bring mixed martial arts to Showtime. You heard him there, you guys. These ladies have made history, and they should be proud, both of them. What a fight it was.